Hello, today you will be receiving a certificate of completion for this Life After High School course. Now you're going to go ahead and go over to your assignment and look for the Life After High School portfolio certificate. Scroll down on the post and find the Life After High School certificate template and open that up. Now, depending on the size of your screen, the certificate on your screen should be only one page. Please put your legal first name and last name on this certificate. Make sure to check that everything is okay with the certificate. For example, the date here may need to change. Once you're done with that, go ahead and download the document as a PDF. So go to File, scroll down to Download, and click on PDF document. Now, if you're on a Chromebook, the PDF document will download to your Google Drive. If you are on a PC or Mac, it will most likely download right in front of you or onto your desktop. Make sure you know where the file is. At that point, go ahead and go to online-convert.com. Go down to where it says Image Converter. Click the down arrow and click on Convert to JPEG. And it will usually be automatic. You won't have to click Go. Now you're going to click on Choose Files. Okay. Mine's right here, so I'm not going to do that, but if yours is on a Google Drive, for example, you'll have to take your file from Google Drive. I'm going to go ahead and just click on my file, my PDF, and drag it into this green area. Now we're going to go ahead and start the conversion. Okay, the conversion or the converted file should download to your, again, if you're on a Chromebook, to your Google Drive, or if you're on a PC or Mac, to your desktop. Okay, and you'll see that the certificate went from being a PDF to a JPEG. Now your next step is to put this on your Wix portfolio. So go ahead and go to Wix on your student account. Here's my website, so I select and I, and I edit that, or I'm going to edit that. Once you're on the dashboard of Wix, and this is the website that you want to edit, go ahead and go to Site Actions. Again, if this is not the website you're looking for, look here in the My Site area to see if you have any other websites. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Site Actions and click on Edit Site. Okay. You're going to go up here on the page or home and click on portfolio. Again, please be patient because your website is loading. Okay. Once you're on the portfolio page, you're going to clear the portfolio page of anything that is on it. So go ahead and click the strip in the corner. And once the entire strip highlights, you're going to go ahead and click delete. And you'll see that it's bare. Okay. You want to go ahead and you don't want this much page left over. So move your page up. 
Again, it might not look like you're moving your page up, but you are. Now you are ready to add your certificate. So go ahead and go to the tool area and click on add. And you're going to add image and my image uploads. Again, you want to make sure that you click on the JPEG. So this is left over from another sample. I'm going to show you how I did it when it wasn't here. So all I did was drag my JPEG into this area. And you may upload yours from any other media source. For example, Google Drive is here. When you click on Upload Media again, it's here on Google Drive if you are on a Chromebook. Once uh, your image uploads, go ahead and double click on the image and you'll see that it easily transfers over. Now make sure this is uh, nice and neat. Nicely center the certificate on your digital portfolio under the portfolio page. You can make this just a bit larger. Make sure it's dead center by using that purple guiding line that runs directly down the page. Once you're done, go ahead and publish your page. And I like to publish mine twice. And we're going to go ahead and view site to double check everything is where it's supposed to be. So go to portfolio. And there you go. There's your certificate. Please remember that your most recent accomplishments always go first and then your past ones last. So go by the most recent date to the least recent date when lining up awards or showcasing your work from top to bottom. Finally, go ahead and publish it one last time. And this is the link that you're going to send to me in a private comment on your assignment post to successfully complete this assignment. Make sure you can highlight this and do control C and for copy and then paste it into the private message. Please feel free to add anything you want to show off or showcase, including but not limited to the following certificates, trophies, awards, achievements, medals, letters, athletic awards, improved awards, photography, arts, crafts, cooking, travel, video, etc. Make sure that you post again from most recent to least recent in your portfolio. You must include the life after high school certificate to complete this assignment. Thank you so much for watching.